there everyone, this is Melissa from DJ Event Planner, and today we're covering the changelog topics from May 1st to May 29th, 2023. To begin, we will look at the features that have been added with this update. Under Setup, Packages, Add or Edit a Package, Website Tools Settings tab. We have added a setting to control whether the package is included on the Instant Quote website tool as an option based on the number of booked events that package can be assigned to on a given day. Next, go to Setup, iCalendar. For the iCalendar Health Check feature, found under the Actions drop-down menu, several statistics were added to show you at a glance the load time, file size, number of events, appointments, and days off for that calendar. Under Setup, Add-ons, we've added a setting for add-ons called Client Facing Name. If a value is entered for the client facing name, that is what will be displayed within the client portal. Otherwise, the add-on name will be displayed. We've added a new event-based merge tag. This merge tag shows the event date's year in two-digit format. Under Setup, Application, Employee Settings, then Payroll, we have added a setting to control the sort order for a given date for the payroll report which is found under Financial Payroll. The two options are to sort by event type or start time. Under Setup, Data Cleaner, Event Based, then Set Date Booked for Blank Values, we have added a Data Cleaner option that allows you to update the date booked value for events based on the date of the first payment. Under Reports, Export Data, Event Based, on the Filters tab we have added two new filter options one for selecting the Assigned Salesperson filter option, and one for the Assigned Package filter option. And now, on to the changes that have taken place in this time period. For vendors, event-based email templates will now be included on the Send Email drop-down menu if they have the Is a Vendor Template setting checked. This new setting can be found under the Visibility tab within the email template. Previously, event-based email templates just showed as an option on the event report pages. For the fee table merge tag, the package name now uses the client-facing package name if one is assigned in the package settings. If no value for the setting has been entered, the setting will use the package name. For the Instant Quote website tool, client-facing names are now used for packages and add-on names. The current system name will be used if no client-facing name value has been entered. Under Website Tools, Payment Gateway, we have removed the ability to iframe the Payment Gateway code due to issues with most providers blocking iframe connections. We have left the new window iframe option as that code appears to still work correctly. And we have made a number of UI changes within the software, including refactoring code to increase efficiency and improving menu links in mobile navigation. And finally, here are the items that were fixed during this update, May 1st through May 29th, 2023. As always, you can find the latest updates to our change log by logging into your DJ Event Planner account and clicking on the Support Options button on the left-hand menu. 
You can also view the change log in a full window view by clicking on View the Change Log option.